Hi everybody and welcome to Pinky Tech. I'm Joe, you're you, and today we're going to talk about computers, or more specifically, graphics cards. So if you clicked on this uh, video, you're either extremely bored or you've asked yourself the question, is should I replace my uh, graphics card or GPU? And before you go ripping your graphics card apart, there's probably a couple of things you should consider before and after you, you repaste your graphics card. All right, so the first thing to ask yourself is, am I seeing higher than normal temperatures out of my graphics card? And what higher than normal means is, are you seeing temperatures that are higher for your particular card? So keep in mind, a 560 is gonna have different te temperatures than a 1070, than a 2070, than a 2080, et cetera, et cetera. So you have to kind of look online for what the thermals are for your particular graphics card and determine, are mine higher than that average? Now keep in mind, could be a bad fan curve, it could be poor case airflow. There's several things that would factor into your graphics card running at a certain temperature, but certainly if you're running higher than average and those things seem to be in check, then repasting your graphics card could be a good idea. Secondly, if it's been over three years, you may want to repaste your graphics card. Or if your graphics card was purchased used, um, like this guy was, then you may want to actually consider repacing your graphics card just out of good computer maintenance. Now, don't expect to necessarily see better temperatures or anything like that. Consider this just good computer maintenance. Now you may change the thermal paste on your card and it may run fantastic and quieter and everything else, but chances are at three years old, your thermal paste is probably fine on it and you're not likely to see a good performance increase. But like I said, it is good computer maintenance to go ahead and do it at that point. And the third thing I would consider is, am I seeing any performance degradation? So in other words, is my graphics card starting to maybe run louder? So maybe the fans are having to work harder to keep it quieter or to keep it cooler. That could be a consideration. Or if you're not seeing the performance that you used to. So maybe you used to run a game at you know 60 FPS and maybe now it's dipping into the 50s or you used to run in the 100s, now it's in the 70s or 80s, something like that maybe you're thermal throttling your CPU or your GPU and that's why you're having issues out of the card at this point. If so, good idea. Research your temperatures. If it is throttling, repaste your graphics card. All right, so if you answered yes to any of those questions, then maybe it's time to repaste your graphics card and I'm gonna show you how today. So I'm gonna be redoing the thermal paste on this guy. This is my EVGA GTX 1070. Um, I got this used for a great deal. If you want to see how great of a deal, just click on this little banner up here. Um, but it was a great deal, but you know, it kind of falls into that category. I'm not really having any performance issues out of it. It runs super quiet. The temperatures, it does get up into the mid 70s, which is a little hot for this card, especially since I've got the Corsair 275R airflow case back here. Um, so eh, it's a little warm, but most of them are running in the, you know, high 60s to right at 70 maybe 72 degrees when i'm looking around online but we're gonna go ahead and redo the thermal paste on here because i did buy it used and i don't know what the previous owner might have done to this card so on top of that evga does have a thermal pad mod for this guy and so i'm gonna go ahead and throw the thermal pads on here as well while i'm taking this apart and just do it all in one shot so we're gonna go ahead and replace the thermal paste on here replace the thermal pads and then at the end we'll put it back into the system and see if she gets any better all right, everybody, so here we go. We've got the graphics card here. Now, before you get started tearing this apart, do keep in mind that you will void your warranty on here. And I know, you know, there's right to repair laws and all that good stuff, but essentially is if you start tearing your graphics card apart, the manufacturer is probably not going to honor your warranty. So keep that in mind. Just be careful when you're doing this. There's nothing too difficult, but there is an order of operations here. So with graphics cards, they're a little bit different for each one. So this one happens to have a backplate on it, which covers up the PCB or printed circuit board. So that would be this part right here. And then you've got the heat sink, which are these fins and everything. And then you've got the shroud, which has these fans. And that would be like the plastic shroud, not the gamer shroud. But um, yeah, so that's it. So we're gonna go ahead. Uh, typically, if you're gonna repaste this, you could just pull off the uh, the heat sink and you'd be fine, but since I've got the thermal pad mod to do as well, we're gonna go ahead and remove the back plate, uh, which are these screws over through here. And then we'll remove these four screws, which will remove the heat sink from 
the PCB, which will uncover the dye. We're going to switch over to the small screwdrivers here. And the back plate is off. And as you can see, we've got some thermal pads there. Set that apart. All right, and for this card, we should just be doing these four right here to get the heat sink off. Get into it. And for these, I do like to take them off in a cross pattern and put them back on in a cross pattern as well. Alright, so I got the card taken apart and this fan header was kind of a pain in the rear to get done, but it is done. So first things first is you're going to want to clean off the thermal paste from both the GPU die here. And I'm not sure how well that's going to show up, but you can tell this actually has gotten kind of dried out. So <clears throat> maybe we will see a difference in performance, I don't know. Um, but we're going to go ahead and get all that cleaned off. And then the same thing is we want to get all that cleaned off the heat sink as well. So we're going to go ahead and start with the, with the heat sink, get everything cleaned up, and then we'll start reapplying thermal paste here in a moment. All right, so we're back. I've got my thermal pads on that I had to get done and we've got everything taken apart here, everything cleaned up. You can see there's still some more thermal paste around here. It's actually caked on pretty well and well, that's as good as I'm gonna get it without you know trying to scrub on it or something like that. And it's not really gonna make a difference. So EVGA's uh, documentation says, apply thermal paste, no more than a grain of rice. They actually sent over this, which I feel is going to make a mess, so I'm just going to use some of the Corsair stuff that I had laying around that I use on pretty much everything else. So, All right, there we go. So now it's just time to get it put back together. And so that means getting these fan headers connected and then just putting it on and then being able to uh, put the screws back in for the heat sink. So we're going to get working on that. All right, now that the fans are plugged back in, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the screws here for the heat sink.
All right, and the last thing left to do is get our back plate back on. All right, and she is done. We've got her all put back together here. Uh, headers look pushed in nice and solid. Don't see an issue there. There, one there. Everything looks good, so we're gonna put her back in and see how she does. All right, everybody, and as you can tell by the change of clothes here, it is the next day. I was able to go ahead and put the card back in. Everything booted up just fine, and we were able to run the benchmarks in gaming again. And I've got to say, I'm actually very surprised at you know the changes that were made here. So as you can see, when I was doing the card, the pace was actually a little worse than I thought it was. It was a bit more dried up, but it wasn't horrible. Um, but when we reapply the thermal paste, put everything back together, we are now seeing temperatures sitting in the 70s during stress testing and during gaming and actually I take that back we didn't actually hit 70 we're in the upper 60s so we hit 69 degrees most of the time during gaming it was around 67 degrees and most of the time during the bench pro it was sitting right at 68 69 degrees so uh, a significant improvement I would say probably on the five to six degrees and to be honest with you that's probably conservative as well because today it was much warmer in my room uh, when I was doing testing but I don't have a temperature thermometer readily available to test, you know, the air temps or the ambient temps and do a delta T over ambient or, you know, this isn't Gamers Nexus. We don't have that kind of budget for equipment around here. So, um, but all in all, you know, it did a really good job. And like I said, I bought the card used and didn't know where it was from. Good reason to go ahead and switch out the thermal paste. Like I said, it was a bit warmer than it was. Um, I did mention that I did the thermal pad mod as well uh, because EVGA did send out the new thermal pads. Um, however, those were actually on the VRMs. They wouldn't have actually changed the temperature of the card in any of the GPU itself that we were measuring because uh, we were measuring the die temperatures or the package temperatures. We weren't actually measuring the VRM temperatures or anything like that. So all in all, it's still whisper quiet. As you can tell, the system is actually on behind me. You can't hear it when it's running. Not that it's actually doing anything right now. It's just sitting on my desktop. Um, but it, it's you know silent. It runs well. Even when I was gaming, I took my headphones off. I couldn't hear anything. As a matter of fact, I had to put my work laptop on hibernate so that we wouldn't actually hear anything uh, coming from the laptop that would make it seem like maybe the desktop was making noise or something. All right, so there you have it. That's how you repaste your GPU. Hopefully this helped you out. If it did, make sure that you click on that like button, hit the little subscribe rectangle, hit the bell notification, and maybe maybe I'll, I'll go ahead and make a actual graphic instead of using my hands to do this on the screen. Anyway, until next time, guys, appreciate you watching, and we'll see you in the next video.